welcome 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 back to my channel it's your girl lemon here back with another reading and i am reminiscent um thank you so much for tuning into this message if you're new or returning welcome back to my channel before you leave please hit the like and share also be sure to subscribe to the channel share this video um find some good you know vibes you resonate go ahead and leave a comment down below as well um, all these interactions are welcomed um, as it can definitely support the channel and get this message out further to people who need to receive it. Okay, so this message is going to be specifically specifically for the full moon in Aries that will be coming about um, on the 29th of September at six degrees Aries opposing the sun six degrees Libra. okay so when I, I'm looking at the chart here on astro seek uh, while I got my phone up here so what I do see because we got the north and south node you know battling it out <laughs> on each side here um, you got the North Node, Chiron, and the Moon on one side, and then you got the Sun debilitated, <laughs> Mars debilitated. Like not not like the Sun and Mars are in Libra, which it doesn't like to be in, and then you got the South Node in Libra. So the South Node being in Libra, it is about making things right. Things that need to be balanced out, making things fair and just um, that may not have had the chance to balance out yet in the past, especially when it comes to any legalities. Um, but the North Node being in Aries, Chiron being in Aries, and the Moon being in Aries is kind of like, and then the Moon in Aries, um, it can give very much, you know, very flighty you know shoot first apologize later energy um but with the north node being here it's like maybe you do need to you know stop giving you know chances to people that you know they've already ran out of chances you've given them millions of chances you know to do the right thing or you've given you know plenty of opportunities to people who just did not take them and, or make use of them. So now is a time for you to kind of you know, do your thing. This can also be you constantly extending yourself to someone and they're not returning the favor. Constantly, you know, putting your energy into something and you're not getting the equivalent back. Like it's time to step 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 your personal game up a notch. It's time for us to step our game up a notch. Because we can't blame, you know the outside world for our disappointments our failures or anything we can't blame the world okay especially with Saturn being in Pisces it's not one to be retrograde it's going to be turning to Rexon but it's all about being real being realistic about your dreams your aspirations your hopes and what you believe in like why do you believe in what you believe in okay so you know, and then being with Neptune also retrograde, it's like you can't really hide the truth anymore. The truth can't really be hidden from you as much as it was before. Now it's all out in the open. So you got to do something about it. You can't deny it anymore. Okay. And then Pluto having a square to the North Node and South Node. And then eventually the Moon is going to conjunct the North Node and and pass that and square off with Pluto okay so and at the same time in the midst of this we got Venus and Uranus retrograde is squaring off okay so <laughs> it's very yeah, it's and this and the, and the Uranus is trining over to Mercury direct um and Virgo at 20 degrees so it's, to me, it's like, you know, there may be some 
unexpected conversations that may come up or unexpected agreements that have to be made that can definitely make people uncomfortable um in making them however with venus being in leo supporting that fire energy with the north node um with that you know closing in on a trine you're going to feel better at going after the things that you truly you truly truly in your heart of hearts know is you know the absolute truth it's it, it it's the right values or the beliefs they're aligning so that's that is going to be what you want to go with you have an opportunity to you know leo energy libra energy our sex house so you have an opportunity for you to really look at relationships venus rule um where you can see like am i really being satisfied is my worth really being you know seen here you know and most of it just starts with am i seeing my true worth in this situation do I feel like I deserve better? Because you can't blame somebody else for you participating in something that really wasn't, you know, on what you feel your level is. You subjected yourself to something of a lower standard, whether it was, for, you know, save money, you know, you are some Taurus, uh, whether it was to try to be supportive or generous with someone else. Or you just had a bad habit of people pleasing, Libra energy, Venusian energy, right? And now it's like, okay, you can't blame anybody else. You can't keep using that story anymore. You gotta pick up, you know, pick yourself up and start getting moving. So let's go ahead and get into the comments. Um, I'll actually put those down. Yes calling me to use lace my tarot of the divine and we're gonna use these crystals as well formed on my skin Just give me, I'm gonna keep my space just in case. 
couple days. All right, so we got Eight of Cups, the Emperor. showing up twice so far ace of cups and the six of coins six of coins over at the bottom we have the strength card we have energy here too okay 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 yeah when moon moves into Taurus with the six of coins here when that moon moves into Taurus and it's going to go through this conjunction with Uranus in that square with Venus. You're definitely going to realize and wake up to something that is truly worth your time and effort and what is not. In the effort to balance out the scales so that you can start being more self-assuming, not self-assuming, self self-reliant, self-aware. Um, cause it's time for you to, you know, remove yourself from things you've been filling up, cups you've been filling into, em emotional investment, very much emotional investment. Um, and what's going to support you is this Aries full moon. And he's kind of taking your power back, taking control of the situation that you are involved in, taking control of your mind, taking control of your narrative, your story, and not letting people silence you, not letting your situations that you may be going through silence you that's been weighing heavy on your mind, um, having a perfect balance between what you're leaving behind and what you're moving on is going to be the challenge with this Two of Wands. Every time I see this card, I think about January. Yeah, but it's time to step into a whole new realm of, you know, confidence. Comp confidence, competition, a little bit of rebellion. Um, Ace of Cups here with the spiritual lesson is basically saying that there is a, a renewal here. There is a ninth cup here. Jupiter and Pisces nine is the nine nine of cups, right? Emotionally, you know, satisfied. Satisfaction. Whatever is the issue currently that needs to be transformed is because you don't have emotional satisfaction in dealing with this. So if you're dealing with a situation where you're not emotionally satisfied, is because you need to even if this could even be um, borderline, like depressiveness, it's emotional dissatisfaction. And it's time for you to step up and be who you are and not who you're trying to force or think that you should be in order to please other people, satisfy the people or be a team player when you are so... I want to say disrespected, but so disrespected, so dissatisfied, and with this Pisces energy, it's like you're not even, Saturn Pisces energy, you're not even getting, you know, you're not getting anything out of it. That's why the end result, the progress is you're starting to see the shift that you making that decision um, to stand for what is right for you, you know, to balance the scale. So you're not sitting here wallowing and complaining and blaming yourself or self-sabotaging. You're moving out of that energy, which balances the scales. So your physical reality is going to show that. Um, and that really does take strength to do. Okay. Venus and Leo was all about reorganizing, you know, what's true to us. Um, eight of Cups. Eight of Cups here. 
We got Persephone and Ruby, inner queen. Divine wisdom empowers me to bring hidden truths to consciousness, healing shadows with the light of love. Yes. The anchor. Another Ruby. Ruby Aura Quartz. Goddess Maya. I am present. The I am is definitely Aries energy. That's the root. Okay. We're grounding ourselves in with our I am energy and moving upward from there. Okay. Raising the vibration on who, how we identify ourselves. Bastet, the cat's eye, sacred pleasure. Yeah, this could definitely be a, a time or energy space where there could be some unexpected, you know, flings or romances or unexpectedly receiving money. Um, I can also see this as unexpectedly having to pay for something <laughs> if you have a debt owed. Um, but being able to just, you know, man up and just work it out or woman up and work it out. Um, for the benefit of yourself and your own stress levels, like not trying to hold on, you know, with that Taurus square, Venus, um, and Leo, that Uranus and Taurus, don't try to hold on or, you know, dig your heels into a situation that's just not working anymore. Okay. If you have to, you know, make a move or do your due diligence in order to get the flow running again, you know what I'm saying? Then that's something you need to do. And you can melt into that space and melt into sacred pleasure, you know, taking delight in the sweetness of life, sensuality, you know, being embodying that, okay? Putting yourself in that vibration is how you, you know, you start moving from the I am up to the sacral space. You're going up. You're raising the vibration. So you invite divine to sweeten your life for the greater good of all beings, right? And that starts with you, you know, allowing that sweet pleasure is you finally taking a stand and creating the life that you really want to live and not being scared to do so or self-sabotaging yourself out of it because you feel like you have to Virgo, Mercury, trying in Taurus that things have to be perfect or they have to be this way or this would be perfect if it wasn't for this or this could be you know get that mentality away and out because that kind of drives down the vibration of allowing spirit to guide direct and being open to receiving what the divine has in store you're putting you're the divine being that's putting the energy out there so what do you want back do you want to receive back everything that you're trying to leave behind by recycling it? Or are you ready to know what distinct changes you can make using that Virgo Mercury to say, okay, this is out of alignment. This little piece here is out of alignment. I can go ahead and remove that and make room and space for something that is really worth my time, my effort, my energy, my space, my presence, you know, my body, my mind, my heart, you know? And it's the cup of the renewal. Okay. We have Goddess Tara with the Tibetan Quartz. Her eye ever open. This is acknowledging your inner light growing stronger, shining brighter, becoming more visible. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I attract and emanate a high level of spiritual guidance, wisdom, and protection for all. And that that's basically, I feel like that's the, the trigger of once you have that, you know, knowing grounded in yourself that's pretty much like the you know expression of it knowing that that part of yourself of yourself has been laid grounded and you're standing on that versus you standing on indecision or standing on self-criticism to the point where you can't stand it you know turning that whole ship around and choosing to attract and emanate a high level of spiritual guidance wisdom and protection for all that is a high vibration. Okay, that's a high vibration. Six of coins. So now our angel Gabriel and Ascended Master Hilarion. We got turquoise and green chrysoprases, which they kind of look similar with the design, kind of similar, 
but um, you got turquoise and the green chrysoprase or chrysoprase. So you got safety to be seen and discernment. Yeah. You don't have to hide your true feelings. You don't have to hide your values. You don't have to be a false, you know, personality or identity because you feel like that's what's going to get you this if you act like this. Um, if it's not who you are, then, you know, what are you doing? <laughs> Discernment is key. Okay. Discernment is key. And then with the six of coins being here, like I was saying, the things are being balanced out. Justice is being served. Okay. And if you want it to be served, you know, you got to participate. And this justice right here in this six of coins is in the physical realm. So if there is money that's been owed to you or there is some type of respect that needs to be put on your name, it'll it'll be there. It'll come. It'll happen. It'll bloom. But you also got to be aware that your discernment is what plays a part in that. How you choose to proceed, how you choose to go forth, what you choose to think, feel. You, we still take it, you know, accountability in all of this. And that's why the strength card is here. Because you have to overcome the animalistic, law of vibration nature of trying to, um, like I was experiencing earlier too, where you're trying to defend yourself or you're trying to, you know, stake a claim and trying to force people to acknowledge who you are and stump somebody or stump, try to stump somebody else out because they may think or feel a certain type of way that you disagree with. And it's like everybody is allowed to their, you know, their thing, including you. But if your thing about you isn't in alignment with who you are, but has more to do with how somebody else feels about you, you need to go back and look inside yet again and correct that. Correct it. And this is not a one-time thing. This is a continual cycle. It's just that whatever situation is rising up during this full moon is something that, you know, you've been needing to stand up to and take a bold step for a while now. With the North Node and South Node being in Aries and Libra, it's like, okay. With square to Pluto, retrograde and Capricorn, which will also be turning direct soon. It's like you got a power... You got a, a powerful opportunity to, you know, play to win in life and not let your insecurities, doubts, or even how other people may perceive you, you know, get you down. Because their perception can actually be very accurate and you can just disagree because you know you, you know your heart, you know where you're trying to go with it and they don't it doesn't make their opinion or their emotions feelings whatever less valid because there's a disagreement but you still can summon the strength and the awareness using that discernment is key to communicate and still be dignified and you know showing up as your true self and I'll never let a motherfucker bow wow me, okay? So um, that's the message I have here for this um, full moon in Aries. I have rest at the bottom, heart healing, revelation with this cross world of destiny at the bottom. Yeah, some things are definitely about to shake and change with that square with Uranus, which is, you know, we all know the planet of sudden unexpected changes revelations, um, sudden realizations, awakening moments. Um, but yeah, it's time to really wake up to what you're truly worth and what you, how you should value yourself in time with the trine of it to put out. How are you utilizing it? Is someone else in control of it? And I know I probably say that a lot, um, but it's very important because time is the biggest currency of all. 
okay? So, if you're investing your time into the right things, then you will see the re investment return big time. Big time. So, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for tuning in, to, tuning in to this message. If you would like a personal reading regarding how this full moon in Aries is going to um, play out in your natal chart, or if you would like a personal um, tarot reading regarding this moon phase, you can definitely contact me directly to, and book a reading. Um, the purchasing website will be in the a link in the description box below. Um, you can also view my blog and see, you know, the previous um, astrology posts that have been done at getyourlemonade.blogspot.com. And again, I hope this message finds you very well. And until next time, peace.